We've created the customers table. Now we need the invoices table. We'll get this data from another program. With Access, you can use data you've already entered in other programs, such as spreadsheets or other database programs. There are two basic ways to do this. You can either import data, meaning bring data into Access and make it an Access table, or you can link to data, in which case the data remains in its original program, but you can use Access to work with it. We've used a spreadsheet program, Microsoft Excel 97, to create a worksheet with invoice information. We want to move that information into our Access database, so we'll import the invoice worksheet. We click on the File menu and select Get External Data. From the sub-menu, we'll choose Import. And when we do, the Import dialog box opens. To display any Excel files, we open the Files of Type list. We'll select Microsoft Excel. And when we do, the Excel files display. We'll import the Invoices file. We double-click on it, and the Import Spreadsheet Wizard dialog box opens. The wizard displays the spreadsheet data. The Import Wizard asks if the first row contains column headings that can be used as field names for the table. This is what we want. So, we click in the checkbox. The labels in the first row become column headings. Then we click on Next to move to the next import dialog box. It asks if we want our data in a new table or added to an existing table. We want a new table, so we leave that selected. We click on Next. This dialog box lets us set the field name and indexing for each field. The data type is grayed out because it's already set in the Excel worksheet. We move on to the next dialog box. Here, the wizard asks for a primary key. The default setting is for access to add one. We'd like the invoice field to be the primary key field. This way, we don't have to worry about duplicate invoice numbers. We click on Choose My Own Primary Key, and Access suggests the first field invoice number. We could choose another field, but that's the one we want. The wizard highlights the selected field. We click on Next. The final wizard dialog box lets us give the table a name. So we type invoices in upper and lower case, which we prefer. We click on the Finish button. Access displays a message box telling us the importing is completed. So we click on OK. The worksheet is now an access table. To open the table, we double click on it. Here's our imported invoices table. The table is an invoice number order with the customer ID, invoice total, and due date. Now notice that text information is left justified, while numerical data and date information are right justified. We'll best fit all the columns now. Now we can format and edit this table just as if we'd created it in Access. The invoices table is set up the way we want it. In the next topic, we're going to use Access to create a relationship between the invoices table and the customers table.